Part of the human experience is that all of us are going to face adversity. Challenges, if you will, are inevitable. But I am convinced that defeat is optional. Now I'd like to introduce you to my all-time favorite tennis player, Roger Crawford. That, Thank you. What is your message over and over again to people? That there's a big difference in life between difficult and impossible. Tennis really changed my life. It's where I discovered the power of belief that you can change your results by, by changing your mindset. This is the Olympic torch that I had the honor of carrying. And there are three words engraved on this rim. Altius, Sidious, Fortius. They mean higher and faster and stronger. An inspiring reminder that all of us have the ability to go even higher and faster and stronger. One of the quickest ways to increase our results is to decrease excuses. It's so easy to make excuses, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because we can always find something in our life that's wrong. We can always find someone to blame. We can always look at circumstance and say, gosh, that didn't go my way. And what we do is we overestimate the negative and we underestimate the positive. Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity of playing in Serena Williams a couple years ago, and that's when I learned a positive attitude does work every time. But you know, when I was playing tennis, I gotta tell you, I, I wasn't the most powerful. You know what I learned playing tennis? If you can hit the ball over the net one more time than your opponent, you win the point. The power of consistency. It's more important than perfection. Mindset is the single best predictor of our success. In fact, in my own life, I'd rather have one leg and a positive mindset than two legs and a negative mindset. Very few of any of us really believe we're going back to normal. By having a forward to normal mindset, we will more easily accept change because we're going to expect change. Because if we do that, we're never going to let acceptable get in the way of exceptional. My physical challenge affects me from the elbows down and from the knees down. I'll tell you the greatest challenge today in having three fingers and short arms. Selfies. <laughs> I stretch out as far as I can. All I get, mug shots. That's it. Our lives and our work are ultimately shaped by what we choose to dwell on, what we focus on. The challenges in life are the opportunities. If you have that self-belief that something is attainable, that you can do it, that it's possible, do you see how hard you work to prove yourself right? I want to give a shout out to my beautiful wife, Catherine. We were high school sweethearts, except she didn't know it. And, um, <laughs> Thanks, honey, for reminding me every day that my heart's more important than my hands.